Heavy is the head that wears the crown, but for Guy Mayeros, being king of the barbell means the heavier, the better. We'll dive into his crowning achievements this week on Inside the Leaderboard. What's up everyone, Tommy Marquez here with another edition of Inside the Leaderboard. And a few weeks ago, the Rogue Invitational took over the Dell Diamond in Round Rock, Texas with some tremendous performances in both the CrossFit and Strongman arenas. But reflecting back on the competition calendar so far, few athletes have seen their stock rise as much as Guy Mayeros. The 21-year-old Brazilian backed up his seventh place finish at the games with a fifth at Rogue. And across all stages of CrossFit competition in 2021, he notched his eighth and ninth event wins this year. And upon further inspection, the context of his dominance, specifically with the barbell, is what makes his rise even more impressive. It starts in the open with workout 21.4, and his lift of 343 pounds was good enough for seventh worldwide. But in retrospect, his lift was actually the top lift overall amongst eventual games qualifiers on the men's side. It was a similar story in the South American quarterfinals with the four rep max front squat test. His lift of 425 pounds gave him the win in his continent, but also bested every other athlete in the 2021 men's field at the games as well. As the competitive field narrowed to semifinals, Guy continued to excel with a heavy barbell in his hands, snatching 245 pounds a ridiculous 18 times at the end of workout four for another win in impressive fashion and earn his spot at the games. In Madison, he had a coming out party on a global scale, and I wanted to highlight the dichotomy of performances between events six and seven. Both had a heavy barbell and running, but the adjustment of the run length and loading of the barbell in event seven put a much bigger emphasis on the lifting portion of the couplet, and Guy responded in kind with his second event win of the weekend. But his true star-studded moment came in event 12 in the Max Snatch event. We saw Guy start to flourish in the spotlight, confidently playing to the crowd and executing lift after increasingly heavy lift with speed and precision. His winning lift of 305 pounds matched Garrett Fisher's top lift from the 2017 games, and everyone in the building knew he still had plenty left in the tank. It was a marquee moment that catapulted him to a top 10 finish and captured the attention of the global community. Fast forward to the Rogue Invitational, and to close out day one, Guy immediately seized control of the Bella Complex under the lights of the Dell Diamond, winning with only his second attempt, conserving energy, and foregoing his third attempt with 100 points already in his back pocket. Then to close the weekend, the full extent of Guy's explosive strength and proficiency with the barbell was on display in the final event. He blew through the rounds of touch and go snatches and manhandled the heavy sandbag to win the event titled The Duel in dramatic fashion. When at Rogue in particular highlighted his maturation as an athlete comfortable on the highest stages of competition. Everyone went touch and go on the three snatches at 205, but Guy picked up time on his peers by purposefully shorting his second pull to get under the bar quicker and reduce his cycle time with a moderately heavy but complex barbell movement. True mastery of an element in sport affords the user the opportunity to explore broader applications of that skill set in other arenas. We saw that come to life in the last event of Rogue, and considering this season alone, Guy has won heavy barbell events in the form of singular max lifts, lift ladders, heavy couplets, heavy triplets, and lifting complexes. He is the undisputed king of the barbell, and that skill alone is going to allow him to succeed in other areas of the sport for the foreseeable future. That's gonna do it for this edition of Inside the Leaderboard. If you haven't already, go check out the Miles to Madison series. All 12 episodes are out now on the CrossFit Games YouTube. With things heading towards the holiday season, it is the perfect binge watch, believe me. And if you haven't already, start getting ready for the next Open. The 2022 Noble CrossFit Games Open kicks off February 24th. You can get all the updates leading into the season at games.crossfit.com.